Let's turn to India. We are slowly entering the holiday season here when schools will be shut and travel will begin. And a lot of Indians travel in the months of May and June during the school holidays. If you're one of them, then this story is for you. It's about airfares. One of India's biggest carriers has announced a cut in operations. That's Vistara. They have decided to reduce 10% of their flights. Around 25 to 30 flights per day will be reduced. And how will this impact you? It's a simple demand and supply equation. Fewer flights equals higher prices. So your tickets may cost a bit more than usual. But why is Vistara doing this? Well, a couple of reasons. First, an alleged pilot rebellion. Vistara had decided to expand operations in February, but they did so without hiring more pilots. So the existing ones were overworked. Many flights were delayed or cancelled. Pilots also complained of sudden roster changes. So Vistara realized its mistake. It is now going back to the February levels of operation. Another reason is the merger. Vistara is owned by the Tata Group. They also bought Air India back in 2022. Now, the company wants to merge these two carriers, Air India and Vistara. They introduced a new pay structure at Air India. The same one is being extended to Vistara, but reports say the pilots do not like it because the new structure will reduce their salary. So what did they do? Many of them called in sick together, sort of like a protest. Many pilots are yet to accept the new salary, so executives at Air India have called for a meeting. They will hold talks with the pilots tomorrow. We should have more clarity by then. And if there is no resolution, what happens then? Then it could be more trouble. Just look at the period between March 31st and April 3rd. Vistara had to cancel 150 flights, plus 200 of them were delayed. So the company is now hitting pause. It is also looking to source pilots from Air India, basically put Air India pilots inside Vistara planes. Again, just one problem. This will take time. Rules require pilots to be trained on new carriers. That could take around 40 days. Which brings us back to the airline market. Carriers are not the only ones in trouble. Plane makers are in trouble too. I'm talking about aviation's problem child, Boeing. It's been a horrible year for Boeing. We've seen doors flying off, takeoffs being aborted, planes dropping midair, and now engine covers blowing off. A Boeing 737 was flying from Denver to Houston. Look at what happened during the takeoff. One hundred and forty one people were on board. Thankfully, all of them are safe. The aircraft rose to a height of 10,000 feet. But within 20 minutes, it landed back. No damages, no injuries, except for Boeing's brand, of course. That has taken a beating. U.S. officials have now opened another investigation. By now, they should have a special wing, a Boeing investigation team. But how will these setbacks affect the consumer? Again, it's about supply. Boeing's troubles have affected their output, especially of this jet, the 737 MAX. American regulators have put a cap on its production. Boeing can only make 38 MAX jets per month. And how many are they actually making? Far fewer. Production was in single digits in the month of March. And now this is a problem for Indian carriers too. Many of them have placed orders for the 737 MAX. Akasa Air has bought 150 of them. Air India has bought 190 of them. But at this rate, what if delivery is delayed? What if the plane gets grounded? We are already seeing some worrying signs. In February, Boeing said it was reworking 50 undelivered planes. They found some quality glitch. So more work had to be done. As a result, delivery has been pushed back. Some carriers have been affected by such delays. For example, United Airlines, they're asking pilots to take time off next month. Why? Because there are no planes to fly. United was expecting new aircraft from Boeing this summer, but the delivery has been delayed, so the pilots have no planes to fly. Could the same happen to Indian carriers? Boeing was asked about this. They said no meaningful delays are expected, whatever that means. But for customers, the message is quite clear. We are entering a period of churn. We have a number of factors often pulling in different directions. You have technological issues. You have supply chain issues, safety concerns, pilot concerns, and then, then of course, the rising demand.
Take India, for example. India's air traffic is expected to reach 300 million by 2030. Do you know how much it is, it, it is right now? Around 153 million. So the number of travelers is doubling, but the carriers and plane makers are not. If anything, both are shrinking. We can't bet on market forces to correct this. We need our policymakers and corporate titans to be proactive. 